All right, the next example. This one, this one gets a lot of students, um, rightfully so. It is a quadrat. Oh, basically, first of all, it looks very confusing from the start. So the first thing we want to do is notice that, hey, it's a logarithm equal to another log. So cancel them out. v squared plus 35 equals negative 12v minus 1. And please, ladies and gentlemen, as you leave my classroom and go to other math classes, please remember when you're solving quadratics, you cannot solve this. Um, when you have a quadratic with more than one variable, one's quadratic and one's linear, you cannot solve it using like the square root method or using inverse operations. You have to use factoring. So therefore, we have to get everything to the same side. So I'm going to add a 12v. Well, 12v is not, is not like terms of v squared or 35. So it's v squared, and then I'll add 1 as well. So it's v squared plus 12v plus 36 equals 0. I added the 1 to both sides. So I could add the 1 to 36. As you guys can see, that's how that worked. So now, so what I did was I got, I got rid, I added 12v to get rid of the 12v here, and I added that on both sides, and I added 1 on both sides. So now there's nothing left over here, right, except for 0. And I added everything over here. Now, why would I want to do that? Because remember, quadratics, the first thing we learned in solving quadratics, you had to set them equal to 0. Then, once you set them equal to 0, what two numbers multiply to give you 36 and then add to give you 12? 6. 6 and 6. So v plus 6 squared equals 0. So v equals negative 6. OK? And then as you guys plug that in, you guys see that that works. So therefore, that is your answer. OK? It's a little bit.